What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into this new video, I just want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. I've been consistent and you guys have noticed. But thank you so much for supporting everything that I do on this channel. I promise you so many more great things and so much more creativity is coming. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So this upcoming May, well we're currently in May to late. Well this May, toward the end of the month, I am launching an e-course on how to sew and will be sewing this particular shirt. But in this video right now that you're about to watch, you're going to see me turn this sketch into this digital flat. I've shared some videos with you all about me actually rendering with color pencils and markers, but this time I want to show you exactly what it looks like in the process behind doing a digital illustration. Now digital illustrations are typically what you will use in a tech pack to kind of communicate with your manufacturers on how to sew and also with the rest of your team on what this garment is supposed to look like in color and in black and white but for the purposes of this video I just want to show you the process behind turning a sketch into a digital illustration I hope you enjoy okay so the first thing I'm simply doing is placing um And I will admit, this was actually really, really fun to do. I haven't really done digital illustration in a minute. Like I used to, I used to get off. My my homegirl would say, you know, you make your croquis with with a real strong face, but it was all just which was true. I did. I just love like a certain look, but it was fun. Um. So as I make the base of my shirt, I'm simply just kind of um, copy and pasting. So really it's all about doing one side and then copy and pasting it, as you can see, for it to look like something else. And right now it's not really giving the shape that I wanted to give. But like I said, I haven't done this in a minute, so we just, we just gonna roll with it. I don't know if I should do a step by step. Maybe I should. We're three minutes in, so I'm up. Normally, I would probably just chop this video up, but I think I'm going to just give y'all the whole thing because it was really fun to make to see how you really come up with the, the digital sketch of something. And I think I should do more of these. Now, the actual illustration, like with color pencils, with rendering, um, that's more therapeutic for me. So... But I think I want to get back into digital sketching. I'm going to let you know in advance, baby. Like I said, I haven't done this in a minute. So this this sleeve, this sleeve gave me a hard time. I ain't even going to hold you. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and kind of skip through so I can show y'all what actually happened. It, it was giving me a hard time. Like when I say a hard time, it was giving me a hard time time and you'll see like I literally was just going back and forth with it with this dang on sleeve but I'm gonna just go to the collar because I really want y'all to see what that looks like And it really wasn't that difficult. It's like riding a bike. I mean, we use that analogy all the time. But it really is like riding a bike. Once you remember how to do just a little bit, you kind of pick up on things and keep going from there. Right now, I am doing everything in just an outline. I don't have anything filled because I really just need to see where things lay. And then I'm going to go back and fill it with the correct color. And just for context, I didn't even talk about what I wanted to, to tell y'all. So this button up shirt, I call it the Devante. My brother's name is Devante. I was trying to figure out a name and I was like, oh, I'll just call it the Devante. But um, I was making this shirt because I am doing an e-course at the end of the month. I'm launching an e-course and really doing step by step on how to sew this shirt. Even with the instructions, you'll get different videos. Um, on how to do each part. It won't be one long consecutive video. It'll be like multiple videos so that you have access to. Um, you'll also have a link on what tools I use to actually sew. 
even down to the type of thread and all of that so but right now as you can see i'm just kind of going back and forth and toggling back and forth between showing the actual flat croquis and um not showing it to actually make the placket to see where the center of the placket is to see where i want the cutout to be it's going to be a color block shirt because i love color blocking like who doesn't i don't know it just it does something you know it does a little something um i don't know what that was child but it was really fun actually making it and then as you can see i'm kind of going in the groove and i created that color block piece on the side of the shirt and I really just divided it and now I'm just ungrouping it. That way when I go to color it, it's not going to be hard to actually fill in that shape. And I'm doing the same thing with the bottom. Just kind of making sure um, everything is lying exactly where I want it to lie. And I'm even going in on the other side and I'm making a little strap detail to show you exactly what I'm making. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. So at the beginning of this video, you should see kind of like the... Um, the hand sketch that I did and I'm just really making a visual like an actual digital sketch that way people can see exactly what the shirt is going to look like and y'all this sleeve my lord I actually had to go in and kind of change that bottom and unite that bottom um color block piece because I was having a hard time as you can see kind of changing that so I'm actually having to unite that piece delete a point to actually round it out more like i wanted to this is going to be a real long video and i don't know if i should give y'all the whole thing i think i'm just gonna kind of skip through a little bit just a little bit i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take away the important pieces but i'm gonna just give y'all what y'all need to know And right now I'm just kind of shaping that bottom because the actual pattern of the shirt is a little bit more rounded and it's not just a curve. It's more so kind of like a an S shape just a little bit. Um, I'm not going to lie. This was really fun to make. I'm not even going to hold you. And yeah, I kind of was reminded of like the skills that I possess and how to really utilize those skills. I think a lot of us, we wait for certain moments that we can use our skills. When I feel like if you have it now, if you have a gift and you have a talent now, use it now. Like, what's the point of waiting? If you don't wait for an opportunity or a door to open, you'll be waiting forever, baby. Make your own opportunities and, and create your own door in your own table and there's nothing wrong with that yeah y'all see this this sleeve was putting me through and i honestly don't know why i would say i was overthinking but i actually wasn't this time i really just needed to um It wasn't looking how I wanted it to look digitally, but I think I, I think I may have gotten somewhere. I think I may have gotten somewhere a little bit. Now I'm trying to kind of like create these folds in a sense. Um. And right here, I'm really just kind of creating that fold because it's going to actually be pleated at the cuff a little bit where the vent is. And then I'm just kind of going through kind of straightening, straightening out those points because the curve tool kind of changed the points a little bit. So we got somewhere. We, we definitely got somewhere. And look at us. We are, we're almost done. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere a little bit. Okay, we're creating some more curves. And I'm probably going to go back in and change that. 
I'm kind of creating the, um, what is it called? The sleeve placket right here. Um, because the shirt is actually going to have a little placket with a little slit opening. So we're going to do that. And right now I'm kind of coloring it to really see how I want it to look. And I promise y'all, trust the process. It really is going to be amazing. I'm deleting these little points because I was trying to create like a rounded effect with the collar to kind of show that um, that little back piece curve a little bit, but it wasn't really working. So I'm just gonna take that out and make it meet. And I'm coloring the other pieces. And though it looks funny right now, you really just send it to the back. See, just like that. Honestly, digital illustration is really, really fun because it's just shapes on top of shapes. And because it's clothing, you're using lines to just create that movement a little bit. I promise you, it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. And it's going to be a little strap detail. It's not detachable, but just a stitch strap detail that I can kind of play with a little bit. And I actually want to go ahead and create the button because I'm telling y'all the button process. It's really just like circles on circles on circles. So. And honestly, to create the button, I really just did a hotkey. You can go to the Eclipse tool. But I did a hotkey, um, which is the letter L. And then you just hold down the shift button to create a circle. And then I just changed my outline and my fill and I ended up scaling the circle to about 80% and I created some other circles and I really just made that a symbol and then as you can see I just added that to my um, cuffs because my buttons really are brown and look at me y'all still trying to get this sleeve together. Lord have mercy. Right now I'm just trying to go through and create, find like a brush that I really like to kind of create that movement because it, it wasn't given what it was supposed to have gave. I need to stay off TikTok. It's not giving. Okay, I'm done. But no. Right now I'm just kind of going into the collar and adding a little bit of that, um, just a little bit of that, uh, just kind of want to see it, the shirt a little bit. But I'm going into the collar, just kind of adding a little bit of that curvature to the whatchamacallit. Adding those buttons right here to the placket and just kind of um, evenly distributing it throughout the placket process and just grouped it. That way I can stretch it evenly. And then I'm going through and I am adding... Um, the stitch line to my collar because it really is going to be a stitch line and then I'm creating little gromlets not gromlets lord I'm creating eyelets because they're going to be these bronze type gold eyelets on the strap detail and right now I'm creating a d-ring because it's going to be a d-ring belt buckle that's going to be on top of the strap Creating like that, um, what is it called? A belt buckle detail. You can't take it off, but it's really just for a detail. And right now I'm creating a pocket to go on top of the shirt and just kind of adding that stitch line and a little bit of drop shadow. So... It really is, I think. Okay, I added that one.
See, now you can see what I'm actually using. I don't know what was going on before, but you couldn't see it, which I didn't, I didn't quite understand. Maybe it was how I saved it. So this voiceover right now is actually me editing the video. Um, it's not actually me doing the process. But I'm just finding a paintbrush that I kind of want to go with to kind of give it that movement um, that I like. And of course, it's not going to be that thick. I need to change the weight of the line, but. Okay. And then right now, all I'm doing is like grouping all of that together. And then I'm just going to copy and paste it. Well, copy and reflect it. I'm also adding a little prong. I think it's called. It's actually a different word. But I just copied and pasted the sleeve and I changed the color of the sleeve because it is going to be color blocked. And I had to change the buttons because somehow the buttons changed. And so now, the last and the final part is creating the back. And the back is, when I tell you the back is really simple, all you're doing is copy and pasting the back. You're grouping everything, you're copy and pasting, and you're just deleting stuff and adding your style lines because it really is just a mirror image. Of course, remove the buttons because there's no buttons on the back of the placket. So then I had to go back to the front and add stitch lines to it. And now, just kind of adding that drop shadow a little bit and just kind of changing it up. And guess what? We're done. That's it. That's All right, guys. And that is the process on how to turn a sketch into a digital illustration. If you would like to be notified about this upcoming e-course at the end of the month, go ahead and sign up for my newsletter on my website or simply subscribe to this channel. That way you'll be notified on YouTube. But until the next time, I love you all. Be blessed.